So what does a data scientist actually do? Let's talk about it. So at a very high level, a data scientist is someone who uses data to uncover insights and solve business problems. Now these problems can range from anything such as understanding the impact of a specific product launch or forecasting customer sales or business revenue down the line. Now you might have heard terms like customer attrition, supply demand forecasting, causal analysis, and many other technical terms being thrown around. And yes, all these terms might sound intimidating, but in my opinion, as a data scientist, your main function is to solve company problems or answer business questions using data and maybe incorporating tools like machine learning, statistics, and visualizations to help you answer or clarify or understand the problem better. So yeah, don't worry about the terms for now. Essentially, you could do a lot of things with machine learning. You can do a lot of things with data uh, and it's your job to figure out how to utilize data and answer those questions as a data scientist. So today uh, we have a couple meetings. Uh, I decided I wanna take you guys on more of a typical day in the life uh, because I am still a data scientist and I wanna share that to you guys too because I know a lot of you guys aspire to be data scientists or data analysts and uh, I just wanna show your typical day to day uh, what you can expect and stuff like that. So I have a couple meetings. I have one in about 10 minutes or five minutes actually. Uh, and then I have another one after that. Those are standups, uh, one's internal and one's for a different team, a product team that I'm working on. And then I have uh, an L10. For those of you who don't know, we follow a traction or US system at this startup. So it's basically a weekly formal meeting where we gather around and talk about issues and you know highlight stuff that went well, went not so well and we track scorecard metrics and um, we have rocks or uh, goals that we're being tracked on. Uh, and then we just evaluate those metrics right there uh, just to see how well we are, if we need any support and stuff like that. So yeah, that's my day today. I might have another meeting later. It's just a consultation for a product that they wanna launch. They just want some data uh, around the idea of launching this product. And maybe I can architect some, some way of tracking its success, maybe an A-B test or something else. So. Uh, yeah, that's my day right now. Currently, I'm editing um, probably last week's video for you guys. Uh, it's almost done. It should be out in a couple hours or maybe the next day. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoy that type of content. I I like making videos like that, but I just want to make sure it doesn't get boring. So yeah, it's very technical. And uh, I go into a lot of nitty gritty stuff that I'm facing when doing uh, or building an app which I know some of you might enjoy, but I just wanna make sure the broad audience is enjoying the content. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below. If you want, I can continue uh, making videos like that. Yeah, that's the plan for today. Uh, I'll take you guys uh, along as much as I can. Obviously I have to focus on uh, getting my tickets done. I have a couple of tickets I need to do for work. I also have, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been working on a big project that our company is looking to launch this week, I think, yeah. Uh, essentially what I'm doing is I'm predicting if a driver is going to accept an order, or an offer being uh, provided to them. Uh, so the idea here is think of Uber or Lyft or any other uh, distribution company or logistics company. Uh, when there's a new order or ride, let's say you book a ride, uh, it's being sent out to a couple people or drivers nearby based on a couple factors. And uh, what I wanna do is predict which driver is most likely gonna decline or accept that, and then maybe filter out the ones who are very unlikely to accept that order so you can get your uh, driver assigned to you faster, save some time, make a better experience overall. So. That's the goal. I've done the logistics. I made the model. Uh, I have it on SageMaker. I made the endpoint. What I have to do today is uh, serialize the endpoint with JSON. I've historically done CSV serialization. So that's gonna be interesting. And then I have to document all that uh, nicely so that the engineers can you know, send data to the endpoint. The data is gonna come in uh, in a JSON format so that we can do predictions live. It's gonna be a shadow model for the first week or a canary model. I'm not sure what the name is but essentially it's not gonna do anything. The first week it's just gonna make the predictions and we're not gonna act on it. And then we're gonna evaluate how accurate the model is and then tune it if we need to. And then from there, we're gonna actually deploy it and put it into the app and filter out drivers who are most likely not gonna accept that order. So yeah, that's the game plan for today. Yeah, a lot of coding, a lot of documentation. I have a couple podcasts that I like to listen to when doing these things. So yeah, that's nice. I also have to block off time on my calendar uh, just so I can get stuff like this done. Because uh, people like to put stuff, uh, put meetings on your calendar. So, yeah, that's essentially the plan for today. I do have to go because that meeting's right now. I'm gonna try and bring you guys along because I know you guys want to see, or I hope you guys want to see, you know, what a typical day day in the life of a data scientist is. You know, the meetings and how they go, stand ups and how they go. So yeah, that's that's the plan for today. I'm gonna get that done, and I'll catch you guys back when I see you next. Yeah, hope you enjoy. Hello, hello. <laughs>
So I got uh, my check-in done and my stand-up done, and then we just had our formal meeting, our L10, where we talked about some issues. It was quite funny, honestly. This is one of the last few weeks uh, where our team will be the size it is. It's pretty small right now. It's a team of four. We just hired uh, another analyst and another data scientist uh, who will be joining next week. So uh, it's quite bittersweet. But uh, honestly, I'm looking forward to it. The data scientist is joining, has over 20 years of experience. They've deployed models. They've worked in aviation. They've been in the education industry, the insurance industry, the finance industry. So I have a lot to learn from them. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing that's happening. Uh, I do have another meeting right after this. Uh, I think it's about 30 minutes from now. It's about uh, those, the endpoints I was talking about. Basically, I need to talk through the process, the whole project, explain uh, to the engineers what data I'll need and how they can provide me the data because some are data that it's easy to pull. Some are just data I'm pulling in from prod and uh, others are data that requires a bit more computation. We might need uh, an external table, a fax table or something else that is live, which can be costly can uh, it can incur cost or we need to do a nightly job or something of this sort basically i haven't thought of uh, it that much yet but yeah that's what we need for right now uh, and i have a meeting with them in 30 minutes to talk through that with my director but yeah for right now i'm gonna finish up this video uh, post it by today or tomorrow and then uh, complete that endpoint documentation and also uh, go through my rocks sorry i forgot to mention this but uh, i just received my rocks for the next quarter I need to tweak them and ask a couple questions before I can move forward with them. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Go read through them uh, in, in a lot of detail and focus so that I can make sure this is possible, uh, at least possible for the next quarter and then come up with a strategy on how I'm gonna tackle all this uh, work in the next quarter. So yeah, uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, hopefully I'll have time to uh, catch you guys back later, either today or tomorrow, but uh, it's gonna be a, a slower video, so stick with me. Uh, I do have a lot of things I wanna share and a lot of things that I wanna do. Uh, but I have to balance uh, my work and also my side project. So yeah, I'll catch you guys back in a bit.
that's about it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed i know it's kind of different from our typical videos but i felt like this would give you a more valuable insight on what a data scientist actually does or at least what i actually do as a data scientist at a tech startup uh, it involves a lot of things i know uh, but the main focus, I guess, is solving business problems using data. And I think that is the bottom line for any data related position. How you solve those problems are up to you and what tools you can use are up to you too. As long as you provide the valuable insight that the company is looking for uh, in a way that they can actually use. So yeah, that's, I guess that's the message I wanna convey to you guys. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a subscribe would actually help the channel a lot. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.